Swath greetings, word of life, and welcome to today's morning altar of prayer. Welcome to the day of divine advancement, and welcome once again to day two of uh, fasting and prayer. You know, life is a dynamic, it is not static. You are either growing or dying. It is true everywhere, physically, intellectually, uh, relationally, uh, spiritually, or even financially. All living things are either growing and increasing toward maturity or they are deteriorating toward decay and death. There is no middle ground. Divine advancement is to be an unstoppable, unstoppable process culminating uh, culminating to the full manifestation of the manifest of the perfect will of God. In Proverbs 4:18 we read the path of the just is uh, the shining light that shines more and more unto the perfect day. I want us to go before the Lord and we pray for divine advancement. We are going to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray, the devil cannot cage my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We want divine advancement. We want to move. We don't want to decay. We don't want to deteriorate. We don't want to die. We want to grow. We want to advance. And that's why we want to pray that the Lord will uh, cage that devil. The devil will not cage us, but us, we are going to cage him in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So that we can be able to, God can be able to restore our life to our original purpose. Let us go before the Lord and we pray. Father, Lord Almighty, we are coming before you, O God. We are praying, Lord Almighty Father, for divine advancement, O God. We are praying, Lord Almighty Father, the devil, and we are declaring this morning, the devil cannot cage us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord Almighty, we are praying, O God, restore our life, O Father, to our original purpose. Purpose, oh God. Release, Lord Almighty Father, our cage potential, oh God. Father, Lord Almighty, we are praying. Break, Lord Almighty Father, the limitation of God imposed, oh God, by the enemy in our mind, oh God. Lord Almighty Father, we are praying that things, Lord Almighty, will not continue, Lord Almighty, the way they have been continuing, oh God. Something must change in our life. Advancement, we must advance, oh God. No more settling for less in our life, oh God. Let the doors, oh God Almighty, that, that, that are prisoning us, oh God, be open today. Let the walls of Jericho, O God Almighty, be broken, O Father. Let the chains, O God Almighty, Father, of the enemy, O God Almighty, uh, put in on us, O God, be broken today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let that stubborn case, O God Almighty, bow before you, Lord, today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord Almighty, we are tired of shedding tears of sorrow, O God. We want shed, to shed tears of, of joy, O God. Let those who have changed challenge our faith, O God Almighty Father, come to you, O God, bow to you, O Father, and truly confess that truly you are a true God. Let all, Almighty Father, the songs of joy, O God Almighty, be heard, O God, in our house, in our mouth, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Almighty Father, for divine advancement. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen. Are you ready for the word of today? I welcome the pastor. Be blessed. Breaking forth critics. Word of life and welcome to the morning altar of prayer where we are still meditating on the topic captioned the heart. Let us pray. Father, thank you for the day. Such a beautiful day you have given unto us. We thank you. We bless your name. We worship you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. I believe you are being blessed by the teaching we are providing to you about the heart. May God help because the teaching we are providing to you is to help you and I to clean up to clean up our hearts and to make things straight before the Lord and before others today I want specifically to talk to you about inner conversations and you know that um, 
in our hearts there are conversations and you you know those conversations that happen in your heart nobody knows that nobody hears it but you and you and God you know so I would like you to understand today there is power in our inner conversations and I will teach you how to make the most of that powerful tool within our hearts which is our inner conversations in Deuteronomy chapter number 9 verse 4 God says don't say in your heart so it shows us clearly that God knows the conversation we make in our heart. Now, for a better understanding of this teaching, I will give you some facts about inner conversations. Number one, fact number one, God hears our inner conversations which are by themselves prayers. When we see, I have some cases here in the Bible, the case number one, Joseph. You know, in Matthew chapter number one, verse 20, after Joseph noticed that uh, Mary was pregnant, the Bible says he was talking to himself, ah, I have to divorce this woman. Ah, how can she do that to me? She's pregnant. Of which man? Ha! Ah, ah, Mary. She cheated on me. Ah! While he was talking within himself, the Bible says an angel came and told him, Fear not, Joseph, to take Mary your wife. Maybe you are listening to me. You you are having your inner conversation how to kick to kick out your wife, how to kick out your husband, how to kick out whatever you are doing. I mean, there are many things that happen in our heart. And you should know that God hears. I have the case number two of the rich man who was talking to himself. And the Lord spoke to him in Luke chapter 12, verse 16. The Bible said that Jesus took a, uh, 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 gave a parable of a man. Verse 16 to, uh, to 20. You will read it by yourself. This man was talking to himself. The Bible says uh, he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room. The Bible said that um, his, uh, you know, his business was so prosperous. Things were working well for him. He was like, oh my word, what should I do? What should I do? He was talking to himself. Now listen to verse 20. But God said unto him, you fool, this night your soul shall be required of you. Then those, whose shall those things be which you have provided? You see, he was talking to himself. What shall I do? What shall I do? Uh, he said, I will break this uh, yard. I will break this place. I will build something uh, great. And then I will expand. Now this, the thing here, will go there. And then it will change. God said, fool. Why is he a fool? Because he was conversing within himself. He was not consulting God. He was not associating God. He was planning without God. God said he's a fool. How many times in your heart you are planning? Uh, I, I will go. I will do this. I will travel. I will do this. That is my plan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I will go here. I will do that. I will do this. And God is not part of the plan. If in your heart you are planning to do things and God is not part of your plan, you are a fool according to God. Because God say, you fool. 
you fool i will i will get married and then, then i will do this i will save some money and then i will do this then uh, path 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 god is not even part of the picture we have another case of sarah sarah was talking to herself and the lord had her genesis 18 verse 12 sarah laughed within herself saying hey, after i am waxed old shall i have pleasure <laughs> i have overpassed menopause you see you are having a inner conversation of of unbelief sometimes the pastor can be preaching something i'm teaching to you you have to believe god but you are having a conversation within yourself contradicting the word you are having a conversation within yourself saying ah pastor said the word says will it ever happen it is, it is in you now look, look at this verse 13 and the lord said unto abraham why sarah is laughing ah uh -uh. saying shall i of a surety bear a child you see she was saying within herself but god heard abba abba you should know that god is hearing your inner conversation how you reject the word we are preaching the word you are rejecting it we are preaching the word it's like that is for him not for me god is hearing you you better know that ah verse 15 sarah denied i did not laugh i did not laugh why she was afraid and god said to her no you have laughed that's why she had a baby called isaac isaac means laughter I pray that you will know that every conversation you are having within yourself, in your heart, God is hearing them. Nobody sees. Nobody has heard. I'm just talking to myself. Can this situation be settled? Can my, can my father be healed from that sickness? Can, my, can, me, uh, uh, can I be healed from this sickness? Is it possible for God to do this? God is hearing. Fact number two. It is good for you to know that our inner conversations can cause God's judgment to fall upon us. I don't want to spend time there oh, because you remember the story of that rich man. He was talking with himself. God said, you fool, immediately he died. So there are people who die, you don't know why they died. Maybe it is because of what they were talking to themselves and then it brought them to death. Number three, fact number three, take note that our inner conversations can unleash our miracle. Praise be the living God. You remember the story of that bleeding woman? She was uh, bleeding for 12 years. How did she get the miracle? Matthew chapter 9, verse 20 to 21. The Bible says a woman who was diseased with an issue of blood for 12 years came up behind Jesus and touched the hem of the garment. Listen to me, verse 21. For she said to herself, Hallelujah! She was saying to herself, if I may touch the garment, I will be healed. That is how she got a miracle. Not because a pastor laid his hand on her, not because of anything else, but because of what she was saying in her heart. Do you know there are people, they don't get miracles because of the thing they are, they are talking to themselves in their heart. I will never be sick. It is in my heart. Those are my confessions. I declare over and again. Ah, I will serve you, O oh Lord. I will never be sick. I will serve you, O oh Lord. I will never lack. So, please, you can get your miracle by your inner conversation. Declaring before the Lord, I will be pregnant. I will be a mother. I will be a father. Ah, 
my life will not remain where we are. Today is day two of our praise, our, our, our prayer for blood stagnation. My life will not continue where I am. My life will change. Listen to what you say. Uh, my life will not move. Oh, I still at the same place. I'm still moving forward. I'm still stagnating. Look at others; they are moving. Me, my life is just be this way. My life, my life, my life. Those are the inner conversation that is keeping you at the same spot. Be free in the name of Jesus. Fact number number four: Our inner conversations are the indicator of who we really are. Now, what you say within yourself is your real personality, your real character, the real you, your real nature, your heart. That is you in your heart. Proverbs 23 verse 7, the Bible says, as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Ah, you, the real you is in your inner conversation. What you say to it within yourself is the real you. I am nothing. Others are better than me. Look at them. They are, they are serving God. They are, they are, they are, in the, they are, they are around the pastor. Look at us. We are just, we are just there. Will I ever succeed in life? Will ever things will work well for me? You see, for example, Esau hated his brother. And he was saying within himself, I will kill my brother. I will kill my brother. And then he killed him. Pride, anger, jealousy, frustration, lie, greed, selfishness, wickedness. And all those things, I'm asking you a question. What do you say about yourself inside you? I will not amount to anything. I'm not sure that things will work well for me. Fact number five. Our inner conversations are echoes of voices speaking to us and in us. So what we say in ourselves are echoes of voices. It can be the voice of God. It can be the voice of the devil. That is what we call our conscience. Have you not noticed that you are doing something, you are wondering, am I doing the right thing? Am I doing the right thing? Ah, should I? Should I? Ah, no, I should not do that. Ah, I should. Ah, no, 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 no. That is wrong. Ah. You, you are battling within yourself because that is your conscience. So there are people whose conscience is dead. They are having sex everywhere. Their conscience is not telling them anything. They are taking the things of others. Their conscience is telling them nothing. They are not taking responsibility. It's because in themselves, they are voices that are that make them convince themselves that what I'm doing is right. First Samuel 24, 5. You see, David, after he cut off the border of Saul's robe, his conscience was like, ah, I've done something wrong. What have I done, O oh Lord? I'm asking you a question. Is your conscience still working? You have not done what you are supposed to do. And you feel like, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I've not done something. I, I did something wrong. I will never say sorry. You are saying to yourself, I will never say sorry. Never. Say sorry, we think that uh, I am I am weak. That's what you say yourself. I we think that I am weak. We not. We not. But a voice is telling you, say sorry. No. I will not. What's your problem? Uh, no, 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 no. I pray that in your heart, 
you will be sensitive to the voice of God. I pray your conscience will work well. I pray that when you did something wrong, you will be quick to say to yourself, ah, I have to say sorry. You will be quick to say, ah, no, I did something wrong. I give all you, also you the example that myself, I say sorry to my children, my, my small children. Hold on, come, please. The other day, I, oh my goodness, sorry. I've offended you. I'm very sorry. Do you forgive me? Yes, dad. But I could say within myself, me, him, like a small boy. No, I can't. So we have every, all the problems we are having. It's because we are having wrong conversation within ourselves. And I would like you to take note of fact number six. Our inner conversation will be judged by God in the last day. Are you hearing me? Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 14. The Bible says God will certainly judge everything that is done. This includes every secret thing, whether it is good or bad. Ah! Matthew 12, 36, the Bible says, I can guarantee you in the, on judgment day, people will, will have to give an account of every careless word they say. So careless word is not only what you say outside, outside it's also what you say inside. The Bible says in Romans 2.16, this happens, listen to me, as they face the day when God, through Christ Jesus, will judge people's secret thoughts. The Bible says that God will judge our secret thoughts. What you are saying to yourself, you might think it is something just a uh, kawaida. But God will judge us by what we say within ourselves. I will never give in this church. Don't give all. You are making these pastors rich in a conversation. Be free in Jesus' name. Fact number seven. Torment and misery fell, fall upon men because of the things they say to themselves. There are some torments we are having. Why? Why? Why in the first place are you peaceless? Why are you stressed? Why don't you have joy? It is because of the things you are saying to yourself. Revelation 18.7 How much he had glorified herself and live deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her. For she said in her heart. You see that? Because of what you are saying, that's why you are not peaceful. Fact number eight. What you, your inner conversation is as powerful as is your prayer. Ha ah, yeah. Numbers 14, 28. God says, as truly as I live, say the Lord, as you have spoken, so will I do. Ephesians 3.20. The Bible says, now to him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that is working in us. According to scriptures, it is clear that God does not only answer uh, what we ask, he also answers what we say to ourselves. The reason why many people pray and don't see God at work in their life, it is because what they ask to God and what they say to themselves are different. You are asking God for possibility. But you are saying to yourself, I'm not sure it, it is possible. I'm not sure it will work. How can God answer you? Do you know Israel never entered Canaan? Not because God was not able, but because of their inner conversation. 
Numbers 13 verse 31. The man that went up with him said, We are not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger. They are stronger than us. We are not able. Numbers 13, 32. And they brought up an evil report of the land which they had uh, searched to the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we have gone to search, it is a land that uh, uh, eats up the inhabitants thereof, and all the people that we saw in it are men of a great stature, 33, and uh, uh, there we saw the giant, the sons of Anak, which come of the giant, and we were in our sight. You see that? We are in our sight as grasshoppers. So they were saying within themselves, they are grasshoppers. That's why they never entered. I'm closing. How to master your inner conversation. I have three things. Number one, watch over you allow to enter your heart through your ears and your eyes. Your ears and your eyes are the two major gates to your heart. Do you know that? Watch over what you allow to enter through your ears and through your eyes. You are watching pornographic images. When you watch those pornographic images, what will you be saying to yourself? You can do the same. You are watching all the videos, movies, pictures, obscene, indecent conversation and all readings. Those are the things you are allowed to enter in your heart. They will spoil your inner conversations. That's why the Bible says, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, Romans 10, 17. So it means that if you want to master your inner conversation, you need to give yourself the discipline to listen to the word of God. Listen to the people who succeed, who are the friends you are hanging around with. Listen to those who are, uh, you know, moving forward. Listen to the testimonies. You are waiting upon the Lord for children. Listen to testimonies of those who have children. You are waiting upon the Lord for a breakthrough in finances. Listen to those who are breaking through in finances. You want to break through in ministry. Listen to the testimony. That is how you will be building inside, inside you. Number two, what you do? Silence any voice contrary to the voice of God that can pollute your heart. Praise be the living God. In Mark 5, 36, the Bible says, Overhearing what they said, Jesus told him, Don't be afraid, just believe. Overhearing, it means what? Ignoring what they say. Uh, 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 paying no attention. Disregarding. In the Bible, the Bible says that Jesus did not allow the devil to speak. So it is your responsibility in your heart you are, you know, in your heart, you know, actually you are not conversing to yourself. Whether you are conversing to God or you are conversing to the devil. When the devil speaks to you, tell him, shut up, devil. I will never be sick. Shut up, devil. I will not die young. Shut up, devil. My parent will be healed. Shut up, devil. I will conceive. Shut up. And then you are exercising yourself to have positive inner conversations. And number three, you must align your prayer with your inner conversation. It means that what you ask God, you must be having inner conversation in line with what you are asking God. You can't be asking God for healing and what you are saying to yourself, I am sick, I am sick, oh, I'm sick and tired, I'm sick and tired. Oh, it's like I will die today. Oh, I'm a, so you see, you are praying one thing and you are talking something else, you will die.
Can we pray? Just tell God, Lord, give me the grace to master my inner conversation. You can even ask God to forgive you for all the words you know, the conversation you are having within you which were wrong. It's encouraging you to do evil. Pray. Can you pray? Today is day two of our fasting. Continue to declare the word of God. Declare before the Lord, I will be the head. As I obey you, O Lord, I will not be the tail. I will move forward in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray, 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 and pray. I pray that all kind of voices that are not of God to be silenced in Jesus' name. May you tune in the voice of God. Maybe you are here, you are listening to me. Maybe the doctor told you something. Now you are meditating on what the doctor said. And your situation is becoming worse. Because you are meditating. That is actually the inner conversation. Be free. Be free. Be free. I declare you will live long. You will not die. You will live long. You will not die. In the name of Jesus Christ. Son of the living God, we have prayed. Well, thank you very much for attending. Tomorrow we are meeting to close day five. Please attend and the Lord will bless you. Thank you. Shortly we have the uh, tomorrow, the, the, the uh, person living class will be tomorrow at 10, as you know. And God will bless you. Please, Hilda, you can come over. Lead us in prayer as we are closing. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much, Dad, for the message of today. I'd like to welcome all of you as we are closing the uh, morning altar of prayer this amazing morning. And I want us to go before the Lord and we pray. Prayer number one, Lord, help me to focus and remain focused on my ability and uh, your promises in my life, in your will in my life. Let us go before the Lord and we pray for focus. Yes, you may be focused, but you're not focused for a, for a, for a full time. You're focused for a while. I want us to go before the Lord so that we can be remain, can remain focused throughout your life. Focused on the ability. Focused on your ability. Focused on the promises of God. Focused on your purpose and the will of God in your life. Father Lord Almighty, we are praying, oh God, help us, oh Father Lord Almighty, to remain focused, oh God, in our life, oh God. Help us, oh Father Lord Almighty, Father, to remain focused, oh God, on the purpose of Father Lord Almighty in our life, oh God on your will, O oh Father, and your promises, O oh God. Father, I pray, O oh God Almighty, that you may help us, O oh God. We don't want to be diverted, O oh God. We don't want, Lord Almighty, to waste time, O oh Father. We don't want, to, Lord Almighty, Father, for our purpose, O oh God Almighty, Father, to just be taken away, O oh God. Lord Almighty, we are praying, O oh Father, help us, O oh God Almighty, Father, this morning, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Prayer number two, we pray, Lord, help me to keep my inner conversation pure your inner conversation let us go before the lord and we pray for our inner conversation may our inner conversation be aligned with our purpose here on earth be aligned with the promises that god has uh, given given us be aligned with the will of god in our life let us go before the lord and we pray Lord Almighty, we are praying, O oh God, help us, O oh Father, to keep our conversations, O oh God, our inner conversation pure, O oh God. I pray, Lord Almighty, Father, may our inner conversations, O oh God Almighty, be aligned, O oh Father, with our purpose here on earth. Be aligned, O oh God Almighty, Father, with your promises, O oh God. Be aligned, O oh Father, with our assignment here on earth, O oh God. Father, Lord Almighty, help us, O oh Father. Help us, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. The last prayer, the third prayer, we pray, you go before the Lord, ask God to help you. Ask God to uh, put the right people around you so that they cannot affect your inner conversation, so that they can be able to feed you with the right things that you are supposed to be fed on. Who are those people who are surrounding you? Who are the, what is that kind of environment that you are putting yourself in? Let us go before the Lord and we pray for the right people because it is the Lord who knows the hearts of the people. And let us go before the Lord and we ask for those people to be put 
are on our path here on earth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord Almighty, we are praying, O oh God, surround us, O oh Father, Lord Almighty, with people who are going to feed us, O oh Father, with positivity and not negativity, O oh God. I pray, Lord Almighty, Father, that you may surround us, O oh Father, with people who are thinking of success, O oh God, and not failure, O oh God. People who are thinking, Lord Almighty, and feeding us, O oh God Almighty, and with the advancement of oh God mentality. Father, Lord Almighty, I pray, disconnect us, O oh Father, Lord Almighty, with people who are diverting, Lord Almighty, our blessings, our destiny, O oh God, and our our, our, our focus of oh God. I pray, Lord Almighty, Father, as we are opening the doors of oh God Almighty, Father, with the people in our life, I pray, Lord Almighty, that you may be cautious, of oh God, of who we are welcoming in our life, of what we are listening to, of where we are stepping to, of where we are what we are touching, of what we are hearing and speaking, of oh God. Help us, of oh Father, Lord. May our eyes, of oh God, not look at things that are going to defile us, of oh Father. Lord Almighty, we are praying, of oh God, may our eyes, may our mouth, of oh God Almighty, be, Lord Almighty, aligned with the word of, of your the word that you are providing for us, O oh God. Thank you, Lord Almighty Father, because Lord, the body that you have given unto us, O oh God, will serve you, O oh Father. Lord, thank you, Father, because I know from today our inner conversations, O oh God, will be full of positivity, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen, 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 amen. A powerful message. I don't have to say much. Uh, let us meet tomorrow. Once again, for the uh, personal development class and also the morning altar of prayer. And not forgetting the Friday penial. Be blessed. We love you very much.